Hello, it's Steve here again from the Studio One Soapbox and in today's short video I just want to talk about a scenario that all us mixing engineers and producers come across on a regular basis. Uh, here we have the scenario where we have been sent the stems of a song and in, amongst the stems we can see here in the green that the overheads has been combined as a stereo track. Now there's nothing strictly wrong with that but I like to work with the overhead split into a mono left and a mono right. So how do we do that within Studio One? Well, you would think you would come up to, click on the event, come up to event, and that there would be something in here that would say split to dual mono or split to mono. But as you can see, nothing, nothing there. So how is it done within Studio One? Well, all DAWs have their own little way of doing this and Studio One is no exception. So if we go to our browser and we go to our Files tab, we can hit F9 as our shortcut to get us straight in. And here you can see um, is the tracks that I've dragged in just down to the tambourine at the minute. There is our overheads track. So what we do is we right click and there is the option split to mono files. So let's click on that. Now you can see there is our mono left, there's our mono right. So if I take this out, if I duplicate that track, and now if I highlight that, hold down control, highlight our second one, and just simply drag them over. And then if I get rid of that bit of silence at the start, as I had with the rest of the tracks, drag it forward and get rid of the browser, just for instance. And pull that up. As you can see, there is our mono left and mono right. Quick blast of that. And that allows me to pan them if I want. on the drums. Now the reason you may want to do this is one, so that you can do panning as we've just done and two, if I go up here, bars, change out the samples, it means that I can come in here and check these two, you know, Check them and see if they're in phase. Let's uh, zoom in a bit more. So as you can see, sample wise, um, take off the snap, the grid. Sample wise, we maybe have 14, maybe 14 samples there. That one's pretty much on the money. And again there about 20 samples. So you probably leave that alone. I mean, it's not that far out. Um, hold on, I just get back to our overview. So there you go. So if, what if you want to do that in reverse? So we now split this stereo overhead track into our two uh, mono tracks, mono left, mono right. But what if we want to recombine those? Well, yet again, the only way to do that in Studio One is to go back to our browser, go to our Files tab, and as you can see, we have overheads left. Let's highlight overheads right, holding Control and click. And if we right click on those two, Merge to Stereo File. And if we click on that, There we go, it's come up as overheads too, since we already have a stereo file. And if I get rid of these two, just for instance, um, and drag this over, just to show you. Um, let's get back to our overview. There you can see it is indeed a stereo file. And that is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only way to do it. Um, I would prefer to simply right click, be given an option here to split the mono, or 
as was in the other case to highlight say our snare top uh, snare bottom right click there and be given merge to uh, stereo but no that's not how it works so it all happens in the browser under the files tab and you have to uh, select the files in here as is here again and you can split to two mono or as was the case when we split them highlight the two tracks right click merge to stereo file and then you simply have to drag it in and delete the original file so hope that helps a little bit of uh, understanding as to how to go mono to stereo or stereo to mono within studio one so thanks for joining me today happy mixing and i'll catch you in the next video